Chengdu is a city with a style of its own. The sound and fury of modern life has not deprived Chengdu of its own gentle pace and temperament. What can Chengdu bring to you? You can only know when you visit. Walking through long and winding alleys, you can see bamboo and ancient brick walls in every courtyard. On drowsy summer afternoons, it's nice to find a place to watch shadow plays and enjoy a cup of tea. In Chengdu, you can always find life far from the madding crowd. We choose, in fact, Chengdu because Chengdu is a beautiful city, the center of China, and uh, we are mixing this kind of creativity and serenity. And on top of it, we have a beautiful shop here, a uh, beautiful space, and we thought uh, the match is, uh, is beautiful, so here we are today. In the gentle breezes of April, Buddy Dash held an exhibition at the Ekmes store in Chengdu. Located in the bustling Taikuli shopping mall, the Ekmes store is serene and elegant. When night falls and lights turn on, the store looks extremely dreamy, with large windows showcasing lovely objects inside. The whole exhibition is in beige. This color makes everything in the store bright, delightful, and harmonious. In fact, uh, we try always to collaborate with uh, local uh, artists uh, to bring some local colors, in fact. And uh, the design we have here is really matching this uh, atmosphere of Chengdu, small roads, so small alleys, and uh, this beautiful, uh, I would say, path you will discover uh, was conceived by a, a Chinese architect, uh, Mary Hu, who designed this uh, exhibition. In the moonlight, the yard is silent and bright, and a tree casts its shadows on the white wall in the background. Rattan chairs and baskets and old melodies from the radio add to the atmosphere of coziness. On such an evening, you can invite a friend to come along, sit in the armchairs, drink tea, chat, play chess, or just do nothing. In the neighboring room, a bird is resting in its cage, and a pony is standing nearby. Each exhibit presents a silhouette of life in Chengdu. Here, everything is in its suitable place and has its own beauty and dignity. Combining traditional craft with artistic imagination, the designers have created a new world for Poditash where every member has his own special experience to share. Poditash uh, is for me, I think, uh, a creative laboratory. Uh, full of imagination, uh, which gathers, I think, the most sophisticated uh, Hermes skills. Since the creation of this workshop in 2010 with uh, Pascal Mussard, and now under the creative uh, direction of uh, Godefroy de Virieux, hmm, it gathers, in fact, artists and craftsmen of artisans hmm, with materials that other Hermes métier doesn't use anymore. Starting with a simple idea, Buddy Dash creates a world full of fun and innocence. Without setting rules, Buddy Dash provides an outlet for artists to push the boundaries of their media and explore new terrain in art design. At Ekmes, a designer first makes a draft before selecting materials and sewing. However, Buddy Dash completely reverses this creative process. Bedik Dash designers have to make use of what they have, 
They have to imagine something new from the materials that already exist. The designers gain inspiration from the materials on hand and create them into unique objects. The creations are produced as one-off pieces or very limited editions. The current creative director of Buddy Dash, Godefroy de Villeneuve, aims to give new vitality to artistic crafts and to create works that are useful and innovative. Always bringing a lot of uh, passionate people uh, to, to these exhibitions. Uh, where we, we open for public for more than two weeks. The people are coming, they are discovering, they are buying products and we have here artists, designers, students coming here to, to see what we try to create with this workshop, Petit Tache at Hermès. How could pandas be absent in an exhibition in Chengdu? All members of a panda family, the panda parents and their five babies, were invited to the Betty Dash showroom as distinguished guests. Holding one of his babies, the father is watching the exhibits. The mother holds another baby. Two babies are frolicking together. Yet another is sitting alone on the windowsill. Symbolizing reunion and happiness, the seven lovely pandas make a perfect family. How much wind is needed to blow those windmills made of calfskin? What are the two rabbits nearby whispering to each other? And whose pony is it that rambles in the exhibition area? With a look of innocence, the pony is standing at the door, staring at everyone passing by. Who is it looking for? The loops on the rack are in the shape of stirrups. The coin tray, inspired by the Ekmes logo, is designed in the shape of a European medieval carriage. Each part of the tray is removable. At the Ekmes Badidash exhibition, you can find a link between the unwritten future and inspirations from the past. There is an area for women to find their favorite shoes, bags, and clothes. Carrying a bag with patterns of rabbits, cats, turtles, or with ginkgo or maple leaves may look lively and playful. What about carrying a bag with patterns of leather-making tools? The shape of the square handbag is very chic. It also looks stylish with its round or flat handles, its strong and durable calfskin, and its lustrous metal parts. A similar version, the robot handbag, is more eye-catching with its large round eyes and witty expression.
The handbag, made of silk scarves, is in the shape of a zhongzi, a pyramid-shaped dumpling made of glutinous rice. Hanging and swaying in the breeze, it looks extremely elegant. The colorful shoelaces, made of thin silk scarf material, make the shoes beautiful. The clothes, made of silk scarves, use color contrast that Ekmes always excels at. Escaping normal design boundaries, the designers have found new uses for scarves. On the wallets, you may see a grizzly bear looming in the mountains, or a whale playing in the sea waves. On this wallet, there is a man followed by a pony. The man has the pattern of a green leaf, while the pattern of the pony comes from the stripes of an Ekmes scarf. Such bold and playful design and coloring make the wallets more artistic. You can also give a new look to your shoes. Try tying to them with shiny shoelaces, different animal decorations like bears, elephants, hippos, or monkeys. In the area of creation at home, a robust pony is dangling in the air, casting its shadow on the background wallpaper like in a shadow play. A black horse is so restless that it may run away any time were it not restrained by its nearby jockey. The jockey is wearing his racing silks and holding a riding crop. An hourglass is telling stories of the past, while cups in the same booth will not listen. One is looking at its hat that has a picture of a panda and a tree. Another cup has removed its radish-shaped lid to take a breather. Riding clouds and climbing mountains, the monkey is as carefree as ever. Will it bring cheer to those who have worked hard all day long? The objects in the home area are not only useful, but also full of personality. You may want to invite some of them home to live with you. The huge rooster is made of leather stitching of various geometric shapes. It can be placed in the living room, and the space at its foot and tail can be used to store many items. The hanging pieces of different colors and designs make the room more lively and beautiful. Have you ever seen a sailboat made of silk scarves and leather? Imagine that it carries you through wind and waves. By seeing the unique colors and patterns from afar, people can know who is coming. At the entrance, smooth stones are used as doorstops, each wearing a belt of calfskin to make a handle for easy removal. In the closet, jockey-shaped hangers in different colors are solemnly awaiting new clothes. Isn't it amusing to see a plate turned into a skateboard?
The lovely flowers on the placemat make the dining room more charming. Children like to hide toys in storage boxes. Together with the toys, they hide their dreams, secrets, imagination, and yearnings. The accessory area is like a forest that many animals inhabit. Stags, puppies, rams, elephants, donkeys, and calves. Everyone is a faithful guardian of the keys to their respective homes. Not far away, another group of animals is gathering. A tiger is in the clouds. A crane is about to fly high. A dragon is going to chat with a chameleon by its side. A man holding a horse passes by. And a delicate lotus flower is blooming. A little panda is staring at people in wonder. What is he expecting? Here are some fans made of bamboo and leather. This fan looks like a group of horses of different colors chasing one another across the grasslands. When folded, it becomes single and still. The conspicuous colors of the leather necklace embody the free and unrestrained spirit of the Maasai of East Africa. The links of a lace-up necklace in the shape of shells are reminiscent of the anchor links of Shenandoah. The fox mask is inspired by the designs of Korean artist Jiwon Choi. In this mysterious forest lives a variety of animals, which reflects Ekmes' infinite passion and respect for life and nature. Dreamlike, playful, poetic, and surprising, the Chengdu exhibition of Buddy Dash pays homage to the diversity of Ekmes materials and know-how. By shaping the remnant fabrics into fashion designs, Buddy Dash breathes new life into discarded materials. The exhibition communicates with visitors through its ideas and creations and gives them an inspiring experience. <laughs>